welcome back today today we're going to be doing leco number 11 container with most water so basically we're given an integer array which represents heights of bars and essentially we want to pick two lines where essentially we can create this rectangle as you see in this diagram right here and this rectangle is the area that we're going to find that's going to be how much water we can store so essentially here this is the array and then zeroth index corresponds to a height or bar of height one and then the first index corresponds to a bar of height eight and as you can see that right here and essentially we're going to pick two of these lines and remember these are always integers so we don't have to deal with like doubles and stuff these are two integer bars essentially and we want to find the area of a rectangle that could be enclosed between them so the x-axis and the y-axis so, or the width and height so before we get into the ipad and figure this out make sure you like this video right subscribe to the channel let me know in the comment section down below any other videos you want to see but yeah let's get into it all right so let's get into the ipad explanation here so I have that array that we had, the heights array, right? I have that here. And I have the output and I have that diagram that we had. So essentially, like I said, every index corresponds to a bar of a specific height. So the first bar or the zeroth index has a bar height of one. Second one has a bar height of eight and so forth. And we want to find two bars or two lines here that can enclose the most area, basically. That's essentially what the question comes down to. So how would we do this, right? Well, one thing is like one brute force I can think of is like, hey, let's just fix ourselves on one bar, right? Like, let's just say, what is the maximum area that I can form if I just use this bar and some of the other bars, right? So if I, if I do that, that'll be a time complexity of O of n squared. And that's because essentially we're going to use a double for loop. And every time we fix a point, we're going to loop from that point all the way through all the other heights and check, hey, is this a max area? Is this the max area? And we keep doing that. So we're going to end up doing it n square times here. Well, that's fine. That's not bad. However, we can do better, right? There's an optimal approach. Well, the optimal approach for n squared usually, or yeah, usually will be, you know, we're going to try to get something in the n log n or o of n, right? And this question we can actually do in o of n. Now, how do we do that? Well, if you think about it, there's two bars, right? And essentially we have these two bars that we're trying to pick. So we can try some kind of two pointer, right? It, or, it kind of intuitively already comes in that question. So let's see if we can do a two pointer. So I'm going to essentially explain it here. Let's say we have a pointer here and then a pointer here. We find the area. How do we find, find the area? Well, area, uh, again, of a triangle is just width times height, right? And the width here would be 9 minus 1, or uh, in this case, 8, right? And um, the height would be, it will, the height can't actually be this point here. Remember in the example, this was actually the area that we found as the answer, like this part right here, right? I'm trading it in here. I'll erase it later in a bit, but this is that part that we found as the answer. So what is the height? Well, it's actually the minimum because we can't, if you think about it, if we pour water into like a container like this, right? Well, this part has nowhere to go. So the water is just going to flow out. So the height has to be the minimum of the two lines that we pick. So it has to be this right here. So that would be eight times one and that would be eight, right? Now that would be fine. That'd be our first area calculation. Now, how do we do better? Well, what if we were to kind of be greedy? Like, if you think about it, what, if we move the pointers inwards, we're actually decreasing the width. So we want to go towards the direction that has the most height so we don't lose all that area, right? So if you check between the left pointer, so I'm going to just call this array at R and array at L. We're going to compare these two and check whichever one is actually smaller is the one that's going to move. So if L is, for example, smaller, we'll do L plus, or we'll do left plus plus right and if right is smaller we're going to do right minus minus right and essentially we're greedily picking hey if my if the current one that i'm at if that's actually smaller and i know when i move my pointers together my width is actually decreasing then let me move towards the bigger height so in this case like i said the left one would move forward right so the left would point here we do the same calculation again so this would be seven right because nine minus two is the width and then the minimum height would be actually seven here as well, right? Because that's the minimum. So that'd be seven, that'd be 49. That's actually our answer, as you see here. Now, we could try out the other possibilities by moving four in and in, and we'd see that there's nothing that's going to be larger than 49. And the, the place where we essentially stop this for loop or while loop, if you think about it, is like when left is when the left is greater than or equal to right, right? When we're at the same point, we don't have any width, so we're essentially zero. So there's no point in calculating that. And whenever we cross over, like we are basically repeating checks, there's no point. So you can kind of see how this is sort of like a binary search kind of thing, but 
we're not really splitting in half. This is just a normal two pointer. We're just moving it in, right? We're moving it in. So two pointer is a very common technique. But yeah, let's get into the code and see how this is done. All right, so let's get into the code here. So I'm using C++, but you can use any language. Uh, the concepts pretty much transfer over always. And remember, we had two pointers, so left and right. And left is going to start at 0, and the right is going to start at height, size minus 1, because we're essentially starting inside. Basically, we're starting at the last index, right? So that's how it's going to work. And we're going to have a uh, variable that's going to keep track of our max area, and I'm just going to call it uh, A. And I'm going to initialize it as 0, because that's essentially the smallest area that we can have, right? So now we do initialize our while loop here. And remember, we're just going to go till left is less than right. We don't care if it's equal, because then the width is 0. Or if it's past, then we're just redoing calculations, right? So now we're going to calculate the area. So the area, remember, is right minus left. That is the width, right? And uh, since they're index positions, we don't have to worry about like the minus 1 or shifting anything like that. That is actually going to be our width At times the minimum between the value or the height of the left uh, pointer and then the right pointer. So height left. So we want to find the minimum of height left and height right. Because remember, if we can't do the maximum value because then the water is essentially flowing out, right? Minimum will actually enclose or keep the water inside. So that's going to be the area. And then our max area, we're just going to update accordingly. We're going to say, hey, which one's the maximum? Max area or the area that we just calculated, right? And then now we're going to check, hey, which one is smaller? Is my left one actually smaller? So if height left, and I'm going to say less than or equal to because if it is equal, we'll just move the pointer. One of them forward doesn't really matter which one. But if height at left is actually less than or equal to height at right, right, we want to move left forward because we're essentially we know that when we move our pointers together, we're decreasing our width. So we have to choose whichever makes our height bigger. Whichever one leads to a bigger height is the one we want to choose. So if height, if the value at left is actually smaller than the one at right, hey, let's move to the left because we're actually maximizing the right value, right? Because we have a bigger value, and maybe moving over gives us a bigger height. Right, that's the whole point. So, same thing here. If uh, in this case it would be the height, the right side is actually smaller than the left side. We're gonna say, hey, we want to maximize our areas. So we're gonna keep the bigger one and then move the right one over because, hey, maybe we get a bigger height. So that's essentially the idea, and this will essentially give us the maximum area. So you can see how this code is like very short. Let's just make sure everything compiles properly and we pass. Yep, we pass these two test cases. Let's run it against all of Lead Code's test cases. And as you can see, we pass them. And so uh, you see how like this was a medium question, but really the concept's not hard, right? You just have to think about you have an n square solution. How do we go to O of n or n log n? And you can see that hey, it's already telling you you have to pick two lines. So maybe we can think on the lines of a two pointer. And we thought of a two pointer, and we greedily pick which height that we're going to stay at because we want to maximize our area. And we know as we move closer, we're actually going to get a smaller width, so we want to maximize the height. So I hope you understood that question. Let me know in the comment section down below any other questions that you had. And just as a reminder, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, right? It really helps me out. But yeah, until next time.